Is Spider-Man Homecoming going to sabotage the MCU? Now, we started getting suspicious of the Web Slinger's true intentions this weekend after Marvel Chief Kevin Feige and Spider-Man producer Amy Pascal sat down with Film Starts for an interview regarding the new flick. Now, as you may remember, Sony is currently planning its own cinematic universe that would kick off next year with a Venom solo outing. But according to Feige, those movies would have no connection to Homecoming or the rest of the MCU. But apparently, no one gave that memo to Pascal, who had this to say on Film Starts. There'll be adjuncts to it. They may be different locations, but it will still all be in the same world, and they will be connected to each other as well. So, uh, big surprise! Venom and Spider-Man Homecoming may connect after all. And no one seemed more surprised by that revelation than Kevin Feige himself. Now, he may have remained speechless during the segment, but his face said it all. So there is a chance that um, Tom Holland as Spider-Man will pop up somewhere? There's over a there. chance. There's always a chance. There's always a chance. <laughs> Look at that side eye! Of course, we here at Nerdist aren't the first to note the memeability of Feige's response. After the interview, Twitter was hit by a small wave of Feige reaction memes, with some fans going so far as to suggest that the MCU finally has something to hang up on the wall of shame alongside DC's sad Affleck meme. Hello darkness, my old friend. Aww, don't be sad, sad Affleck. He'll always be our number one sad movie meme. I mean... I do love sad Keanu Reeves. Technically, that's just himself and not a movie, which makes it even better, but, you know, whatever. Anyways, as enjoyable as Feige's deer in the Sony headlights look is here, it does raise some serious questions about the future of the MCU. So what could this all mean? Well, the way that we see it is there are two possible answers. The first, more optimistic answer, is that Feige is caught off guard, not because this is news to him, but because it's news he wasn't expecting to leak so soon. In interviews prior to this one, he had said that there were no plans to connect the two universes right now, meaning not a definitive no. Most likely, he was just saying this because as the Marvel-Sony homecoming deal has proven, nothing is completely impossible. But there's also the chance he was mincing his words because he wanted to save the surprise. Now, there's been a popular fan theory floating around the internet that the symbiote suit would make an appearance at the end of Infinity War, which would lead into the Venom film, which is being released just a few months later. If this is the case, then of course it's the kind of thing that Feige would want fans to discover on screen and not in an interview nearly an entire year before Infinity War hits theaters. So maybe this is just a case of Pascal spoiling one of the MCU's closely guarded post credit scenes and Feige just simply won't trust her with the secrets anymore. But the second, more troubling option is that Pascal went totally off script and is making announcements that Feige has no idea about. Now, why is this troubling? Well, with all due respect to Sony, their franchise building skills aren't exactly what one would call the strongest. They already botched Spider-Man twice. Heck, this wouldn't even be the first time they potentially screwed up the series by forcing Venom into it. Now, the first two Sam Raimi films literally redefined the superhero genre, and then the studio went and derailed all of that momentum by demanding he make room for Eddie Brock in an already overstuffed script. And now they're making big overarching decisions about the MCU without the input of the guy responsible for making those movies work in the first place. And really, the MCU has no way to stop them. At the end of the day, Sony holds the film rights to Spider-Man, and if they want him in Venom or Black Cat or any other Sony Marvel Universe film, they can make that happen. And while this won't really ruin the MCU, it will kind of kill a little bit of what makes it so special. Now, the universe has been so meticulously managed for nearly a decade that we'd hate to see the continuity get blown up by the less than stellar decisions of Sony. On the same hand, Maybe that's already happened. Every time we go to a Marvel movie now, we just have to block out the fact that Iron Fist is running around somewhere off screen. If we can ignore him, I guess we can ignore a Venom or a Sinister Six as well. I love that that entire paragraph was nothing but shade. <laughs> But what do you folks think? Did Amy Pascal spoil a big Infinity War surprise, or is she rewriting the MCU from the inside out? Let's discuss. And have you seen our live weekly show, Mothership? We team up with Geek and Sundry to bring you epic challenges, dig up the most WTF moments on the internet, give away prizes, and a whole lot more. If you miss out, you can always catch up on demand over at projectalpha.com. Be sure to use the promo code SHIPMATES to get 60 free days.